Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how we can put one horizontal uh, recycler view in and vertical recycler view. So, I'll continue from our last tutorial. So, in our last tutorial, we created one vertical recycler view. So, this was the API that we used. So, here we have a list of an array of items. This is the API, it returns an array of items. Each item has one ID, title, description, and one image. We are loading the title here, the description is here, and the image is here. I created one more API. So if you write it as horizontal, then this is a different API. It returns uh, an array of items, like similar to the previous one, but for one item we have one flag it's called horizontal and it is true and also we have one more array of items in this item so it's of it's called data so that means that for the other items we will load similar to these items and for the item where horizontal is true we will load one horizontal scroll uh, recycler view we will load these items from this data okay let me go back to our project so the first thing we need to change our model class this property class id get an id for the horizontal also we have one horizontal property here so here i'll add one horizontal property Hello, horizontal, it's of type boolean, and by default, we are assigning it as false because this horizontal is only in this new elements, not in all these elements. Also, we have one data, it includes an array of items, so data and it's of type list types will be same as this property and if you see here that we have only id this horizontal and data for this item so we don't have this title so we can define one default value for this title similarly for description we can define one default value for the image as well we can define one default value okay that's it we change our uh, model object then the next thing we need to change our api service so here we are calling this api but for now we need one slash horizontal right so that horizontal we'll write it here this is a get api this is the base and it will append this horizontal to the end of this base url so it's fine we'll get one list of this property then i'll change this list item currently this list item is used to show the content of one item in the recycler view so we are showing this let me zoom it a little bit okay so we are showing this image then this title and this description and which one delete button but for a horizontal scroll view it will be also one list of item so suppose we are showing this horizontal scroll view here then it will be one item it should be in the item so i will add this recycler view component here then with its match parent and hide this rep content and by default this recycler view we don't want to show this recycler view for all these items so by default i'll change this visibility to gun and i'm reading one id for this recycler view
And similarly for this constraint layout, I'm adding one ID. So if we get any element that where we want to show this constraint layout, then we'll show this one. And if we want, we have to show one horizontal recycler view, then we'll show this one. Now I'll go to our adapter class. So this adapter class is responsible for binding its value to a list item. So the first thing I'll go here this on bind view holder. Here we are defining that what type of data we want to load. And here it is calling this bind method. And inside its bind method, we are assigning this title image view and description. So here I can check if the list data of this position if it is a horizontal view then i can call one different method and else i can call this method get one new method here similar to this bind suppose its name is bind recycler view and it will get this data list of properties I will get the recycler view component from this view. Either find view by ID. It's of type recycler view. R dot ID dot recycler view. Then also I'll get this constraint layout equal to view dot find view by ID. It is of constraint layout. Then r dot id dot constraint layout. Now this method will be called if we want to show one horizontal circular view. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set the visibility of this constraint layout as gun. We are just hiding this constraint layout and we are showing this recycler view. We will create one recycler view manager. It's of type recycler view dot layout manager. And we are using one linear layout manager so for this first thing we need to pass the context then we need to pass the type of this linear determinator this is of horizontal and this is true now we can apply this manager on this circular view so the first thing we will get in the data as mutable list so we are getting the data from this method this data is actually this array this inner array that is with the, the array that we have to load in the horizontal scroll view horizontal circular view so here i will create one adapter Using the same adapter for this circular view as well. So this is the same adapter I am using for this particular circular view and also for the horizontal recycler view. Typically, it is two different instances of the same class. And similar to this previous one, it will call the delete item method now i am adding this layout manager as this manager of uh, this manager i am assigning it as a layout manager for this recycler view and also this adapter of the recycler view as the my adapter so this method is responsible for showing the data in the recycler view now we are hiding the constant layout for inside this method and we are showing the recycler view in this method similarly in this find method we have to get 
at uh, constant layout reference and we will change the visibility of constant layout as visible and and taking the reference of recycler view and we are sending the visibility of recycler view as gun so the opposite of what we did here so we need to call this method here if we have this horizontal property then we'll call this method to show one recycler view the first thing i will get this object from this position and i'm going to get this uh, data then if we have this data then i'm calling this binary recycler view method so that's it so if, if we have this horizontal property as true then we are calling this binary recycler view else we are calling this bind and for bind recycler view we are showing the recycler view and we are hiding this constant layout and we are loading the data in the recycler view that we got from here and we are using the same adapter and each of each item inside this data also have ids so we can use the adapter and for its index we can delete that item so let me run this app okay now you can see that this is the horizontal recycler view so you can scroll horizontally here and these are not horizontal this is the total this vertical recycler view and similarly we can delete item from this horizontal recycler view as well if i click delete then it deletes that item so currently we are using the same layout that we used for this vertical and for horizontal also we are using this vertical elements layout but we can also use some different layouts as well so that i will show you in another video so i hope that you got the basic understanding of how we can show one part horizontal recycler view in a particular recycler view if you love this video please subscribe to my channel and like and drop one comment if you have any queries